Well, the most powerful telescope known to man has reached its final destination one million miles away. The James Webb Telescope is now positioned between the Earth and the Sun on a quest to behold the dawn of the universe. That's all? Scientists are eagerly awaiting some dazzling pictures of the cosmos. Michael Maceda is an assistant professor of astronomy at UW-Madison. Michael, welcome to Hi, Live Hi, Michael. Before. Good to see you. Hi, nice to see you too. Thanks. What, why are scientists so excited about this telescope? I think we're so excited about James Webb because it is giving us capabilities that we've never had before. And it's really designed to help us answer many of the big questions we still have about the universe. So our place in the universe, are there planets like our Earth? And then, you know, larger scale, how did everything happen after the Big Bang? How did stars form? How did galaxies form? And, and how did everything go from then until today? So really kind of completing our picture of what the universe is like and how it came to be. Wow, wow. What can we possibly learn about the Big Bang from this telescope? So what we're really hoping to learn, um, particularly about the very early phases of the universe, is, like I said, about how stars and how galaxies form. So light travels at a fixed speed. And so if you're looking at something that's further away, you're actually looking back in time. So we also like to say that a telescope like James Webb is kind of like a time machine. And it's going to give us an ability to look back into the very, very early phases of the universe, really just shortly after the Big Bang. And we don't know currently how long it took to go from the Big Bang to have the first stars and the first galaxies and the first you know things that we can see. We don't know how long that took. And so we're hoping with James Webb to be able to answer that question and kind of put together the whole cosmic timeline and understanding how we, we started to form things and how they changed and evolved into things that we see around us today. Well, for years and years, scientists relied on the Hubble telescope. Much of it developed here at UW-Madison. What's the fate of Hubble? So Hubble's still going strong, actually. Um, you know, Hubble's more than 30 years old now, and it it can't be stated greatly or more greatly how important Hubble has been to our knowledge of the universe. And so we're all thrilled that Hubble is still going strong. Um, we have great new science going on with Hubble, and we're hoping that James Webb, with different capabilities, is going to really still complement very nicely the kind of work that we're able to do with the Hubble Space Telescope. When do we expect to see the first pictures from this telescope? So the first picture should probably come out in the sort of early summer, so like May, June, that's the sort of current timeline. Um, depending on how everything goes over the next couple of months, you know, we'll have a better idea of exactly when that's going to be. And we're just wondering who James Webb yes. really is. So James Webb was the second administrator of NASA. And under his guidance, I mean, first of all, it was a, the huge push to the moon landing missions. So he was in charge in that period. But he also had the vision for NASA having a scientific component as well. So he was really very much uh, keen on scientific research and using space exploration as a way of understanding the universe. Wow. So that's that's why this telescope is named after him and his, his contribution essentially to astronomy. What kind of instruments does this telescope have on it? So it has four major science instruments. Each of them have their own sort of specialties. Uh, many of them are cameras, and so they take pictures. And in particular, they have the ability to take pictures in infrared wavelengths. So that's light that we cannot see with our eye. Uh, so really, it's going to give us a completely new picture of the universe. And there's also quite a few uh, capabilities on James Webb for spectroscopy. And spectroscopy is really important for understanding, for example, the chemical composition of planets and of galaxies, because you're actually splitting up light and determining how much light there is in an object at different wavelengths. Um, and so that in particular, the spectroscopic side of things, is where we are really getting a huge new thing compared to what we've had, um, for example, with Hubble. Well, hopefully we'll get the images in a few months and we can have you back on Michael yes. to discuss what we're seeing. I would love to be able to do that. All yes, right. I'm, I'm very excited and I know everyone here in, in Madison and, and around the world, we're really excited for James Webb. It's gonna be a really fun time. All right, we'll see you then. We will look forward to having you back, Michael. Thank you so much.